Welcome everybody to Jordan's Film Quest. Today's adventure brings me to Exenia, Ohio. Today we are attending the Great Ohio Toy and Game Show here at the Greene County Fairgrounds and I have beside me my buddy Jordan. You might remember him from my Comic-Con videos. He goes to Comic-Cons with me but today we're attending the Toy and Game Show. What are you looking for today? Godzilla stuff, wrestling stuff, and Power Ranger stuff. So, he's going to go his own way. I'm going to go my own way. I have seven buildings to get through. That's a lot of buildings. And we're going to meet back up at the end, and we're going to show you everything that we have bought today. It's going to be crazy. There's food, there's a DJ, and there's a ton of people here. So, without further ado, let's go check out the Toy and Game Show. All right. So, we're here. What's your first initial thoughts? It's a lot... It's a lot to take in, isn't it? Impressive. Yeah, check this out. We have made it about an hour and a half, hour 40 drive here. There's a lot going on, a lot of people. And we're gonna check out building number one, right here. More vendors inside. Let's go. Room number one. We got a bunch of Barbie stuff here. You guys are literally going to see so much stuff in this video. It's crazy. I like that Michael Myers figure right there. That's pretty sweet. All right, so I found a table with a whole bunch of Hot Wheels and die-cast cars. Let's see if I can find any Fast and the Furious stuff. I remember all these old 118 scale cars. Oh, look. Car from Happy Days. A lot of Hot Wheels and stuff here. We got some Funko Pops here. Oh, there's another Happy Days car. That's pretty sweet. We got some giant horror figures here. Really like this Michael Myers, but Freddy is also one of my favorites. Check this out. Michael Myers, 20 bucks, not bad. Got some more Hot Wheels here, a lot of Batman stuff. I like this one from Batman Forever. One of my favorite movies. Found a little tuned Fast and Furious Charger here. Unfortunately, I already have it, but it's still cool though, nonetheless. I'm also looking for some cars for my dad, some Mercury Cougars, because he has two Mercury Cougars, so I'm gonna look out for some stuff for him as well. Oh look, even E.T. made an appearance. Tons of Star Wars and movie figures here marvel we got sandwiches we got funnel cakes we got coffee we got pretzels we got hamburgers we got lots of stuff there's a dj up on the stage so this is going to be building two i'm not doing them in any particular order but i'm going to go into this giant building here this is a lot to take in Let's get started. We got that old classic Jaws game right there. Asking 160. Some more Hot Wheels here. They got a lot of stuff in this booth. Y'all remember VHS tapes when, they, when those were a thing? I got some down there. Y'all remember in some of my previous convention videos, I was always looking for Terminator stuff. Pretty sure I got all of these, but I do like the... Uh, Halloween stuff. These are 2018. Halloween 2018. Lori Strode. Pretty cool. I like the Michael one too. That one. They also have comics here. This booth has a ton of Funko Pops. So this booth right here, I've seen here a few times. And they always have a lot of cool shirts. Let's go check them out. Here we got some old, old school model cars. Check out these Elvis figures though. Muscle machines, I remember those. I used to have quite a few of those. This booth here has a ton of Star Wars stuff. I've never seen so much Star Wars stuff. 
This is crazy. Walking Dead figures. I missed that show. Check out this zombie cup. Looks expensive, but really cool. Found Dom's off-road charger from Furious 7. I already got that, but still figured I would show it. So this is rather interesting. You'll never believe this, but this booth right here belongs to my aunt and her husband, Dan the Toy Man. Check out his YouTube channel. He goes to toy shows as well, as long as uh, other shows as well. And he sells a lot of Star Wars figures. We got Star Trek, Teen Titans, Power Rangers, Jurassic Park. Go around here real quick. Cabbage Patch stuff, wrestling stuff, Shazam, all kinds of stuff. So check out his YouTube channel because he does stuff like this as well. His YouTube channel is Dan the Toy Man. I will put a link in the description below and you can check out his channel as well. So that's where we just were inside of that big building. And this is the back of it. It's a lot of stuff going on back here too. Some plushies. Very cool. I like that Back to the Future car right there. $100. Little tractors here. Look at all these little dinosaurs. These are cool. Oh look, there's blue. T-Rexes. These are really cool. Little army tanks and whatnot. Y'all remember those wrestling buddies way back in the day, the little pillow type things? I love these street shark figures. There's a giant one over there. All right, building number three. Let's do this. Oh, it's a little puppy. All right, go. Oh, that's adorable. We've got lots of wrestling figures here. John Cena. Roman Reigns, the one that I'm looking for. They don't have. Shoot. We got a Care Bear here. Look at all these little plushy things. Squishmallow pillow things. I like this Freddy figure. This booth has a lot of old stuff. Street Shark watches, Godzilla figures, and then over here, this giant Dracula doll. Here's a Halloween themed booth. Decorations, masks, and whatnot. We have a Fresh the Furious Challenger. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a half Charger, I actually have that one. That's and then five pack right there. Yeah. yeah, we got Sarah Connor right here. Pretty cool. Wonder if my buddy Jordan has found any Godzilla stuff yet. Got a bunch of Funko Pops here at this booth. And here we have some vintage old model cars. That U-Haul one's pretty neat. Some old school stuff here for sure. We got some 118s down here, but I don't see any Fast and the Furious cars. Check out this Rambo gun. That is awesome. I think this is building number four. The Freddy vs. Jason yeah, the figure. Never seen anything like that the, before. The slip back. Funko Pop made a movie moment of the T-Rex of Jurassic Park eating the Velociraptors at the end of the movie. Sweet. And here we have more Funko Pops. Like a little Dodge Viper right there. That's pretty cool. Look at these little Lego guys. How cool is that? Here's a bunch of old old vintage toys check these out wow you can definitely tell there's some aging with these that's a really cool viper 112 scale 
Here's a Fast and Furious car. Chevy Nova. We got some artists here too that draw and paint, whatnot. That's pretty cool. Let's check out some of these. My buddy Jordan just walked past me. He was determined he went that way somewhere and he said, I'm getting ready to go buy something. So we shall see what he has at the end of the video. Oh, well, that's a cool Michael Myers figure. Well, hey, that's a Mark McGuire figure. He used to be my favorite baseball player. Robocop figure. So now we're going into another back area. I like that Stone Cold figure. This booth has a lot of video games. PlayStation 2, Nintendo, Xbox. Check out this giant Optimus Prime. That is awesome. This booth has a bunch of statues. I like them. This booth here has a ton of Godzilla stuff. I bet you my buddy Jordan has been through here. All right, so here we are back outside. And so far we have hit one, two, three, four buildings. About to head into the fifth. Standing out in the sun trying to get warm because it's a little chilly today. Kind of want to stop and get some food. I got to say these smaller buildings are a little bit more compact. So I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to show you, you guys much of what's in here. I'm certainly going to try. Assembly Hall, building number five. Man, these are some cool looking figures. Jaws game, $30, that's not bad. Oh, this is neat. We have uh, some model cars here. Charger, almost like my car. We got some video games here. Let's check it out and see what we can find. I like this Dukes of Hazard car right here, 69 Charger. I see an Adidas shoe made out of Legos. <laughs> That's awesome. That Jaws cup, pretty sweet. Up there is the uh, Godzilla hand puppet, I think. We have some old school stuff here. King Kong, Terminator, Pee Wee. Look at this big pumpkin head, Predator. So the guy that owns this booth right here behind me, he was actually on the TV show American Pickers and Pawn Stars. Oh, we got a big Rudolph right here. I actually still have my plushies from when I was little. All right, building number six. Got some old Transformer toys here. G.I. Joe's. Here's some old vintage toys that some of you might remember. Board games. Check these out. There's hot toy figures up there. I used to collect a bunch of those. Too expensive for my taste nowadays. Still cool though. Got some old classic toys here. Some old vintage cars. These little ponies. I like that giant Dracula figure right there. Well, wow, display, whatever it is. All right, here we go. The last and final building. I'm so exhausted. Got some cool wrestling figures here. Ooh, look at this Undertaker. This is the back of the building. We're going to make one loop and then we're going to leave. Old school figures. Oh man, look at that thing. Check it out. These little trucks, these are cool. I like these old school trucks and cars like this. Got a bunch of music stuff here. Puzzles. Here we got some more video games. Old school stuff too. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want these Boondock Saints Funko Pops because they're really hard to find. 
Why do I remember this? I'm pretty sure I had one at one point. So Queen is one of my favorite bands. Check out this Freddie Mercury figure. That's iconic. Awesome. Jaws figures. We got two Hoopers. I do have both of those. Very cool. Jaws Toonie Tears. All right. Your first time to the Great Ohio Toy Show. What do you think? Expensive, but fun. <laughs> Expensive. Yeah, that happens a lot. All right. So before we leave, we are going to show your haul and everything that you bought today. And then we're going to show everything that I bought today. What did you get? Uh, I got an Alistair Black figure. His debut, I got a Thundercats Lino toy version from my dad. I got a Mass Rider Black RX. I got a the animated series from the 1970s Godzilla statue. Still in the box. Still in the box. Check and this out. Then I have Godzilla versus Orga. This was my last purchase that I got. It's a big box. Does this does this light up or anything? Um, I'm not sure. I think it does. Or so, they make sounds. I think they yeah. make sounds. Bandai. Very cool. So, spent too much money, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Or you wanted to? <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at what I got today. All right. So this is what I got. I got Tony Hawk's Underground for the PlayStation 2. I just recently purchased another PS2 so I could start playing all of my old video games. And I'm super excited because this is a great game. Over here, we got a Scarface figure. Actually got a really good deal on this because you really don't see Scarface figures much anymore. This thing is probably, what, maybe 12, 12 inches or so. It might make noise, I'm not sure, but it does come with guns and accessories and stuff. Super excited about that. And this comes of no surprise since I was looking for Fast and the Furious stuff. It's the, uh, what brand is this? Ertl. The Ertl Dodge Charger from the first Fast and the Furious. Pretty good deal on that too. The guy was really nice about it. And right here, I got a 68 Cougar for my dad because he collects Cougars. He puts them on his Christmas tree for his car Christmas tree. And I bought the tuned Fast and the Furious Toyota Supra. I already have one, but I want to take this one out of the box and put it with the charger that's on my shelf. So there's that. And then last but certainly not least, I bought the double pack. A uh, little bit more pricier than what I wanted it to be, but I really wanted it. It's got Brian's Supra from the first Fast and the Furious and then Han's Supra from I think Fast 9. So yeah, not a bad haul for today. Great Ohio Toy Show here in Xenia. A lot of fun. A lot of money spent, unfortunately. <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, hope you guys like, subscribe, comment, share, I guess. And I'm sure me and Jordan here are going to be out doing some other adventures sometime soon. So stay tuned. Be safe. I'll see you guys on the next one.